Hello welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video we explain why Sweden was neutral in World War II. In Present at the Creation, Dean Acheson writes a great deal about Swedish overtures to the Allies during and at the conclusion of the European War. The US and the UK never pressured Sweden to cut the Reich off from the massive coal and iron shipments it made. The reason was obvious. Sweden had long since informed the Allies that it was vital in protecting the fleeing Jews and acting as a back channel to get political messages into the Reich. Covert agents also found a way into and out of the Reich via Sweden. The Allies were under no delusions about what being a totally surrounded, neutral, nation meant. Refuse the German terms of trade. And Sweden would end up invaded. Germany depended far too much on raw goods from Sweden to allow them to isolate themselves from Germany. To that point, as the war drew to a close, notably after the Normandy landings, Sweden was finally emboldened in turning on the Germans. Present at the creation, PP 50-52 explains the backroom politicking needed to guarantee a free Sweden and one that could serve a purpose to the Allies. The U.S. traded oil to Sweden all the way up until 1942 knowing that some of it was diverted to Germany. Why? Because most of it stayed in Sweden and powered their aircraft and navy. This made sure that Sweden remained independent. In return, American and British pilots, shot down in Germany, were given safe passage through Sweden, if they made it there, to come back to the West. Saving our pilots' lives was truly an American, British thing to do, even if it meant helping a doomed enemy out slightly. Those pilots' lives were worth it. By keeping Sweden neutral and independent. Once the Allied advance was sufficient, see, Normandy, Sweden could totally close her trade to Germany. This was critical because, once closed, Germany had few other sources of the minerals Sweden provided. Cut Sweden off too soon, and she collapses, gets invaded by Germany and those resourced remain permanently under Reich control. Allow Sweden to remain independent, and at least they could be cut off once Sweden was safe. Likewise for critical mechanics and technology. After July 1944, Sweden closed the trap, and cut Germany off totally from all her machined goods. Nothing went in or out of Sweden and Germany was too weak to invade. 